Welcome to 5 Minute School. Today's video will be talking about the glomerular capsule and the filtration barriers. So I've included a diagram here on the left which shows you the glomerular capsule. Just to help you orientate yourself, this region here is the glomerular capsule, also known as the Bowman's capsule. Here we have the afferent arterial bringing blood to the glomerulus. These are the glomerular capillaries or the glomerulus. And then we have the efferent arterial leaving here. So as I said, this is the glomerular capsule and uh, this region here is the beginning part of the proximal convoluted tubule of the nephron. Okay, so the glomerular capsule is a cup-like sac which is located at the beginning part of the nephron and it performs the first step in blood filtration to form urine. The glomerular capsule, sorry, the glomerular capillaries have large pores in their walls and the layer of glomerular capsule in contact with the glomerulus has filtration slits and we'll be discussing this in more depth uh, later on in the video. So water together with dissolved solutes can pass from the blood plasma to the inside of the capsule and the nephron tubule. So just a quick fact, the endothelial cells of the glomerular capillaries so the endothelial cells of these capillaries here have large pores called fenestrae. Now, the glomerular capillaries are 100 to 400 times more permeable than the capillaries of skeletal muscle. So there is a large amount of filtration which is going to occur here. Before the fluid in the plasma can pass into the interior of the glomerular capsule, it must be filtered first through three layers and this type of filtration is selective and fluid entering the glomerular capsule is therefore known as filtrate. Now let's talk about these three filtration barriers to finish off this video and there is a diagram which I've included here which shows um, the, glom the uh, glomerular capsule in a lot more detail. So here it shows the glomerular capsule in a lot more detail and it shows the three filtration barriers but let's talk about them first and we'll have a look at this image later so we have the capillary fenestrae which is the first filtration barrier they are large enough to allow proteins to pass but they're surrounded by charges that may present some barrier to plasma proteins so you can see the capillary here it's covered by a different filtration barrier but you can see it here and the there are slits or capillary fenestrae here to uh, provide the first layer of filtration. The second layer is the glomerular basement membrane. This is a layer of type 4 collagen and proteoglycans lying immediately outside the capillary endothelium, so it'll just be located here, and this may offer some barrier to plasma proteins. The glomerular basement membrane is more than five times as thick as the basement membrane of other vessels and is the structure that's m that most restricts the rate of fluid flow into the, the capsule lumen. So this is the structure which uh, controls the rate of fluid flow into the capsule of the Bowman uh, or the glomerular capsule. And the third type is podocytes which is actually the slit diaphragm but we'll get to that so we'll talk about the podocytes first. In the inner layer of the glomerular capsule, that's their location, they are octopus-shaped bulbous bodies with several thick arms. You can see them here. This is the podocyte. They have these thick arms. And then each arm has thousands of cytoplasmic extensions known as pedicles, which interdigitate or clasp or grab onto these glomerular capillaries. So you can see the uh, pedicles here, which are grasping onto the uh, glomerular capillaries glomerular capillaries which is why you can't see in this image the glomerular capillaries apart from this section here so they grasp onto the glomerular capillaries and in between these adjacent pedicles we have narrow slits which provide a passage through which the filtered molecules must pass to enter the interior of the glomerular capsule and these slits are known as slit diaphragms so this is where the filtration actually occurs in between the pedicles of the podocytes. So the slit diaphragm is the major barrier in the passage of plasma proteins into the filtrate. So the slit diaphragm is the most important in preventing uh, plasma proteins entering the filtrate and into the proximal convoluted tubule. Now, protein urea is a disease where there is a high amount of protein in the urine and it occurs when there is a leakage of protein into the filtrate. <coughs> 
and it can be due to the damage of the slit diaphragm filtration barrier so if there is some form of da damage to the slit diaphragm filtration barrier this would allow more protein to pass or plasma proteins to pass into the filtrate so in this case and in the case of protein urea there is more protein in the filtrate that can be reabsorbed because remember if there is some proteins which can pass through for example albumin they can be reabsorbed later on in the proximal convoluted tubule but in the case of protein urea there is more protein in the filtrate than can be reabsorbed which leads to a higher amount of protein in the urine